I do research in Becky Simmons' lab on native pollinators in the greater northern plains region, and I'm looking at correlations between the gut microbiome of these pollinators with the pollen we find both in their gut and on the specimen. In the biomedical research department, Dr. Foster's lab focuses on the modulation of the dopamine transporter, specifically the role of a 16-carbon fatty acid attachment known as palmitylation. My project specifically focuses on the role of palmitylation in DAP membrane tethering. I do research with Dr. Igor on the morphology of di digital images using special computer software. Dr. Whaley is one of the four doctors I assist as an autopsy tech at the Pathology Center. After seeing one of his lectures, I asked him if we could work on a project together. He agreed and let me choose the topic. A case at work involving the ingestion of sodium nitrate led me to further research its impact on a cellular and chemical level within the body. Becky approached me after class one day to do research in her lab, and that's what I've been doing, and I love doing it. I would definitely say everyone should approach professors about research because even if they turn you down, they'll redirect you to another professor to do research with. My first semester on campus, I looked online to see what different research was being done on campus. Dr. Foster's research caught my eye, so I reached out to him by email asking if he would take undergrad students. He was very welcoming and helped me get started right away in his lab. Truthfully, after the initial email, it wasn't scary or intimidating at all. Dr. Foster and his PhD student at the time, now Dr. Hovde, were very patient with me and took the time to teach me lab technique, even though I had no prior experience. Dr. Igor was the one that introduced me to the U.S. Master Program, and once I was accepted, he offered me a research opportunity with him in his lab. Given my opportunity, I would say not to be afraid to ask the professors about research positions with them or if they know, they know of any. They will most likely accept the help or know of someone who is looking for help. Since starting this research project, I know that Dr. Whaley, my professors, and so many others around me want to see me succeed and are willing to help. The hardest part was that I had to ask first. This research is helping me apply what I'm learning in school to what I'm doing at work and my future career. I think research is really helpful in helping you connect things back to the classroom and what you are learning. It is also helpful in the way you learn how to do research for the future. Here you have an opportunity to make mistakes and ask for help, whereas in a job setting, that may not be the case. For me, research was a way to stay engaged in my learning. It's easy to get burned out on lectures and textbook reading, but working in a lab where I feel like I can actually use that knowledge is very motivating. Like sometimes I'd be reading my biochemistry textbook and just go, hey, that's like X process I work with in the lab.